This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Tony Torsell from Anta and he's going to tell us about their Flashline 44010. Hi. This is our Flashline 4010 laser flash system. This is the laser cavity and this is the furnace. It's a room temp to 1600 furnace. This particular carousel is a six sample carousel so you can measure five unknowns and one known reference in one. Uh, it determines the thermophysical properties of materials, the thermal conductivity, the specific heat capacity, and the thermal diffusivity. Now, on this method, you load your sample, you pick a, a temperature range that you're looking for, say 1200 degrees C. What you're doing is you're flashing the top side face with a laser pulse from here, and you're metering the temperature versus time curve on the back side. From that, you'll receive the thermal diffusivity of the sample. After that, comparing it to a known reference sample, you'll receive the specific heat capacity. And once you have those two, you input the density and you'll derive the thermal conductivity. Now, it's a simple test. You would take your sample, load it into the carousel. Now, again, this is a six sample carousel, so you would know, load five unknown samples and one known reference. You would then close the carousel and you can lower the head into the furnace. Lock it down. By that time, you would already have your parameters input into the computer and the test would be ready to run. Now, once it gets to temp, it would flash that sample. Again, the thermogram over here shows a typical result of an unknown. Uh, you'll see, again, it's voltage versus time, but that's actually uh, converted to a temperature. Uh, the, relative, the relative change is what's most important, and the half time to get there. From that, you determine the thermal diffusivity. Once you do that, it is, the advantage of a multi-sample system is that you can actually measure all five samples and get the specific heat capacity by comparing them to a known reference all in one test run especially for high temp tests, it's a, a big advantage. Uh, reduces testing time drastically. Once you have the specific heat, again, you would input the density and you'll have the thermal conductivity of your material. What sort of industries typically use this, this type of testing? Any material developers, uh, material research firms, anybody, anybody trying to develop uh, materials of greater thermal conductivity. Uh, here, the typical use would be in ceramic studies uh, in developing uh, higher thermal conductivity ceramic materials. And how long does it take to do to take a measurement? Uh, once it gets to t once it gets to temp, it's a very quick test because it is a transient test. You're pulsing it with laser energy and measuring the back time curve. Uh, typically, that can be if you're doing a room temp test, you can get six samples done in a matter of a half hour to 40 minutes. If you're going at 100 de degree intervals up to 1600, it might take six to eight hours. And what, what's the lowest temperature it can work at? Uh, this particular unit is room temp to 1600. With the laser module, we do have a unit that will go subambient to minus 150 C. We also have a, a larger furnace that will go to 2800 degrees Celsius, six sample furnace as well. This is just uh, an alumina furnace model that can operate in air, inert gas, or under high vac. Okay, and if anybody wants any more information on this one or any of your, or wants to see any of your other instruments, where can they go to find that? They can go to www.anter.com. That's A N T E R.com. All right, Tony, thanks very much for telling us about the Flashline 4010. Thanks, Kim.